Welcome to the ACC 9 uh, Start the Year video. This is version 15.4.2 of the ACC 9, which you can get from the aircadetleague.com site. So to start, you can choose if you want to work in English or French. If you wish to work in French, there are two changes to make. Select your language over to French, which will change all the menus to French, and select to change all the worksheet tabs to French. And you can see along the bottom that now all the worksheet tabs have switched over. For this video, we're going to stick with the English uh, names on everything. And there we're back into English. Okay, so this is the first page you work with in the starting your year. For most squadrons, that would be on 1 September, the start of your year, except those squadrons in the Quebec and Ottawa Valley, which would be on 1 July. So simply is we start by putting in squadron number and a squadron name. Now, why we ask for the number of cadets is later on in the uh, videos you'll be seeing is the um, budget estimation for the next year and by having the number of cadets in we can estimate the cost per cadet to run your squadron as well as the cost per cadet for fundraising. So for this we're just going to say we have 50 cadets. Now your opening bank balance has to be exactly the same as what the previous year's closing bank balance. That would be the opening bank balance for most squadrons is what is in your bank on the start of the 1st of September, except if you're in uh, um, Quebec, Ottawa Valley, which would be the 1st of July. So let's say, you know, we are fairly off, good off with $10,000 in our bank account. If you happen to use petty cash, you can put in the opening balance for petty cash. Select your reporting year. Okay, so you select, you know, we're going to do 2021-22. Date of year in we put in. Now, for most squadrons, it's 31 August. If you happen to be in Quebec, Ottawa Valley, that would be on the 30th of June. So for this, we will stay with the 31st of August. Okay. Now, the next section is your previous year's ACC9 information, which you would obtain from your balance sheet, page 4 of your previous year's report. This is would be what's known as line 1700, 3100, so on. So you have to make sure you, the previous year's ACC9 is a balanced and completed ACC9, and you would get these numbers from it. So let's say you had $3,000 in total assets. Now, you'll notice this box immediately went red on the right-hand side. This is what we call you know, a check box that's going to look at your previous year's information. If it's not balanced, that box will stay red. Once it's balanced, it'll go back to white. So if you happen from your previous AC9 C9 had a retained earnings of $3,500 and minus $500 surplus deficit, and voila, you notice that the previous, this has gone white now from the previous year's information. So the ACC9 now is happy with the information you put in. And the final part you have to do here is select if your provincial tax system is a PST or an HST system. So I'm going to assume uh, an HST system. So we select HST and the total tax rate, which in this case I'm going to pick 13%. Now, this is set, finished setting up the start of the year. A lot of the information we just put in has been copied into other worksheets within your uh, ACC 9. The final part for finishing your start up the year is to add in any unreconciled checks or deposits in the data setup sheet. So let's go to that sheet. So you'll notice in the top part of this sheet that it's already been fully populated with all the information that we put in on the start the year worksheet. So let's assume you have a check that didn't clear the bank by your year in. So here is where you would put the, that information for that check. So let's say it was check number 12 and it was payable to a storage company. 
and a check for $110. So you would continue and insert any checks that did not clear the bank. Now, if you happen to have more than what we have in lines here, we suggest you just try to group them together in one line. Okay. Same would be for any deposits, but rarely does a deposit not get processed on the same day that it happened. Now, it's very important that you do not re-enter any checks or deposits that showed up on your previous year ACC9. Do not enter them into this year's journal. If you do that, you're double counting those items. Okay. As well, make sure as your year progresses that these checks or deposits actually do clear the bank. Now, after six months or a year, depending where you are, you may decide to say, hey, that check's been written and it's never been cashed. So you're going to uh, stop payment on that check. Now, if you happen to do that, keep it still here on the uh, previous year's checks not processed. But what you'll need to do is put a line into your revenue journal for that check as a refund into your money. Okay, so you would just put in uh, a check um, stop payment and you would put the amount under refund. That way you'll go get your ACC9 back to balance.